Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin, and I'm getting ready to do another uh, Mary Maxim yarn review. So this is the yarn I've chosen from the box today. It's the Mary Maxim Maximum Value, over 450 yards, 8 ounces. What? So it's a medium four weight yarn. They want a uh, 4.5 millimeter US 7 knitting needle. There is no crochet hook instruction, which is surprising. Um, it says it's machine washable and dryable for that shenanigan. So two minutes on delicate, then you can dry it for like five minutes and then you have to lay it flat. You know my thoughts on that. Well, I guess I'll say it because who knows if you've seen the rest of my ranting on that. That is not machine washable in my opinion. Machine washable means I can throw it in the washer. On delicate, fine for an entire cycle, fine. But it has to be an entire cycle. I don't have to be timing it on my watch and figuring it out, no. And then I can take it out and then I can throw it into the dryer. On low, the delicate, um, is it delicate? I forget what the cycle is on my dryer, but you know what I mean. On low, delicate, whatever, gentle, um, and then you can dry it. With a value acrylic, I don't see why you couldn't. I think they are CYAing, covering their heinies with another word for heiny. Um, but anyway, uh, it says do not dry clean, and that's it. So this colorway is... Color, color, color. Copper! <laughs> it has like col the word color in three different languages and then it says copper after that list. So color is copper. It is indeed very coppery. It is turning out very dark on my screen. It is... There you go. There you go. Yep. It's a, it's a, it's a copper. It's like a good copper color. I like it. Uh, made in Serbia. 474 yards, 445 meters, 100% acrylic, 227 grams, 8 ounces. I normally look up the price beforehand, but I was processing a video and I didn't think of it. So let me pop over here real quick. Mary Maxim. Maximum value. I like the name. Maximum value. Okay, according to Google on the search result page, this is $5.99 full price. For that amount of yarn, that's a darn good deal. Um, at Hirschner's, I would say this is probably very similar to Hirschner's. Is that bag not open? Where's the opening on that bag? Oh, come on. What am I doing? The neon lights is right here in front of me. Their worsted eight line is all the same. It's eight ounces. Um, it's roughly the same. This has 489 yards, so pretty much the same on yardage. Um, they look to be very similar weight wise. Uh, depending on the type of worsted eight you get at Hirschner's, they are between. 498 and 598. The I think the neon lights, which is what this one is, was 598 and definitely the glitter ones. Um if it's got the sparkle added, it's been up to 598. Um that is the sale price at Hershner's. But let me tell you, I have never gone to Hershner's and not seen it for that price. So you know those shenanigans. But anyway, so I guess what I'm saying is this maximum value seems very, very this is what akin. I found. No, no Siri, no. How to find E85 pumps near me? What? <sighs> That's insane! Oh my goodness. Okay, dismiss that. How would Siri get that from what I was saying? Anyway. $5.99 full price for this. Certainly you can always leverage coupons and Mary Maxim is always having sales. But that is very, very comparable to the Hirschner's Worsted 8 line. line. I love it. Feeling this initially, it feels like a nice, nice value acrylic. I see no issues with it. It is, to me, softer than a Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver. Um, 
since we're talking Hirschners, um, the softness of the Hirschners Worsted 8 depends on the variety you get and the colors, the dye. Um, but I would say this is comparable, if not softer, than most. This is softer, in my opinion, than the Neon Lights yarn. Um, yeah, I am impressed. I think this is probably a very, very good deal. Initial gut reactions. I have not tried it yet. I have never used this yarn yet. So that's what I'm going to get to now. I am going to try to whip something up on my Addy. I am going to um, crochet something with it and I am going to hand knit something with it. You will see it for the review purposes in varying stages of completion because that, that takes a while. <laughs> okay, what I can tell you looking from what I googled, it comes in solid and variegated colors. Um, the variegated colors, I didn't get a variegated colors. I just got this one. Um, is the same price according to Google. Um, I've gone to the website. It's on the same page. No, I don't need a coupon pop up. Come on. I'm just trying to see the yarn stats to see if they're variegated. They don't have a different length listed for the variegated. So I would assume the variegated has the same yardage. That's awesome. That's always cool when that happens. Sometimes yarn companies will um, have less yardage in a variegated yarn rather than a solid yarn, which to me is frustrating as a crafting consumer because sometimes I buy, you know, to make like a stripey blanket and when the solids have less of the variegates, I really like um, having a variegated yarn. I love using variegated yarns. Um, so I love striping up a variegated yarn with solids that coordinate. But if they have different yardages, then you have to, you know, do different math and might have to buy an extra skein or two of the variegated to make up. Just my personal feelings. Um, okay. Like I said, I'm going to go work with this and you'll see me back shortly at the table. Okay. See you soon. Hello, I am back and I am ready to review this yarn, the Mary Maxim Maximum Value. Eight ounces, over 450 yards. I already went through the stats, so I'm going to resist the urge to do it again. Okay, so I showed you the yarn and then I went forth and created with it. What did I create? Well, I threw it up on the Addy and made a child sized beanie. You guys, if you are an Addy Centro knitter, this was the best yarn, one of the best yarns I have ever used on my Addy. It was smooth as silk, no tucking, no skipping. I barely had to monitor it. I just cranked away and I was good to go. This was a joy. I highly recommend this for Addy usage. What else did I do? I, of course, made my standard double crochet beanie on this one. I did one row of single crochets to end it. It looks nice. Good st stitch definition. Same with the Addy hat. I think the stitches look very nice, very uniform. That was very soft to work with on my hands. It was, it was a joy. This was a wonderful, wonderful yarn to use. I was quite impressed by it. Um, somehow that picked up some dust. That's okay. Now, you want to get to the uh, nitty gritty, the testing, all of that stuff. Okay, so for this, I did both a crochet swatch and a knit swatch, and I tried to get clever so I didn't have to cut the yarn and do it on one length. Let's see how it works. Um, I used the recommended crochet hook size, which I believe was a 4.5 millimeter? No. So it must have asked for a 5. Okay. It did not have a crochet hook recommendation. That's right. It only suggested a knitting needle. So I used my um, H 5 millimeter furls hook for this. For a four weight yarn, I would normally use a 5, 5.5 hook. One of those two. Um, 
I chose the five probably merely because it was the first one I came across when I was looking in my hooks. Here is the swatch. I'm not zoomed in as closely as I can. There we go. I did. I'm fancifying my swatches, guys. So I started with single crochet, half double, double. I did some popcorn stitches so we could check the stitch definition. And then up here, you can't really see, but I did some cluster stitches right there. And then I ended with some shells so we could see all types of different stitches and how they show up. The bobbles show up quite nicely. They look quite nice. The clusters don't cluster very well. Kind of if I pop them, there they go. They, they're kind of there. I think you can see them a bit. Um, the shells look very nice, look good. Um, I'm really using what I probably should do is add in a fillet section as well. So you can kind of see how it would work with some gaps or holes in the fabric. I'm learning. I'm getting there. Okay. So I think this is good. I think it's got nice stitch definition. I think the bobbles, the, the popcorns show up quite nicely. I'm impressed. I like it. So let's take out the stitch, the progress keeper. And that was an Ellie Leva 4th of July one, if you're curious. Now let's see how it frogs. Clusters frog just fine. The popcorns frog just fine. Not one issue with the frogging. Perfect frogging. I was going to show you me crocheting with it off of that swatch, and I didn't. Of course I didn't. What? Aaron. Uh. Do you really care? I mean, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'll do a quick... Just so you can see it being used. Um, there is some squeak. That's my resin hook against the yarn. Um, but that's like... The only problem, I did not have great issues with the yarn splitting or anything like that as I used it. As you can see, working so nicely. I almost did a half double there. I'm doing singles. That last chain always gives me trouble. Okay, there you go. Chain up one. I'll do a row of half doubles just to show you. And there you go. So very smooth, no splitting, no catching, no problems. And we'll frog that out. And except for my butterfingers, it is perfect. I am burping. So at lunchtime, I could not control myself. And I ate a sleeve of Thin Mints. No judgment, please. But <laughs> I am expecting some tummy issues shortly because of that. Okay, so I did use the recommended 4.5 millimeter uh, knitting needles for this thing, the swatch thing, whatever. Um, this is my Clover Takumi Bamboo Circular Needle Set, 16 inches, 41 centimeters. It's a US 7, 4.5 millimeter. Okay, which is. 7-8, that's what I normally use for my knitting for a four-weight yarn. Okay, so here's my swatch on this that I fancified. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's bulking up here. Okay, 
This section here is garter stitch, which is knitting every row. This section is stockinette, which is knitting the right side row, purling the wrong side row. This one that wants to bubble out is my reverse stockinette, which is where you purl the right side row and knit the wrong side row. I did do a section of yarn over eyelets so we could see how that worked. It looked quite nice and the definition is good. And I threw in one gigantic cable so we could see how the yarn cabled. It looks good. In future, I'm going to do smaller cables so you could have like two of them next to each other. I don't know why I did the giant cable. I just did. Um, so there you go. And we're going to just not rip out yet, Erin. I will show you the knitting. This is a purl section. So purl. So the this is my bamboo needles. It does stick a bit on the wood, um, so I'd probably prefer a metal needle with this yarn, but it's not a problem getting into the groove with the bamboo. It's just a little bit more tugging. Okay, and I'm going to switch to my knitting for this portion of the cable. In case you're wondering, I did knit this quite tightly. Um, don't know why my tension was so tight on this one, but it was. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Okay, and then we end it with a reverse stockinette section. So we're going to purl, since this is the right side of the work. In case you're curious, this is a right back cable, which means I held the first stitches to the back of the work to create the cable. And there you go. Right back cable. Alrighty, let us see how the knit frogs have no thoughts that this is going to be anything but smooth, but you never know. It does kind of hurt the soul to rip out all that cable work. Well, so the reason I was like, why did you do such a big fat cable? Because you have to do so many more rows leading up to the cable so it lays a little flatter and looks a little nicer. If they were smaller cables, it would have taken me less time <laughs> to knit the swatch. So shall we call it pure laziness? I don't think it's pure laziness, but knitters amongst you will understand what I'm talking about. Oh, shoot. I'm somehow wrapping the two chunks of yarn on top of each other here. That's not ideal. That's okay. And done. Perfect. Got a, got a lot of yarn burf to deal with there. That's okay. I'll deal with it. Um, if you're curious what's going to happen to this yarn, Chomps is Fox. Amagurumi has been on hold until I finished this review because... I tried to knit with the fur yarn, not knit, crochet his amigurumi with the fur yarn that he wanted. I couldn't make it work. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't see the stitches. So I went to him and I said, hey buddy, I'm so sorry. Can't do it. Um, so we looked at the yarn and he said, this for Fox. So that's not what he said. He doesn't speak like that. That's how Bingo speaks. But he said he wanted this for the Fox. So this yarn will be used in the Fox Amigurumi and then probably throw it in my Sophie. I think it's a good color for that palette with any leftovers. Okay, so my review on this yarn. What do I think of it? Um, trying to get my checklist up quickly on my phone because why would I get it
Okay, so price, this was very, very affordable. Um, I think it was a great price. Oh, we already went through all of that. Um, feel on the hands as I worked with it. I talked about that. It was very soft. It was very comfortable. This does not feel scratchy um, at all. I would say it's very similar to uh, Lion Brand, Basic Stitch Yarn, um, Premier Basics, that kind of. Um, splitty Fuzzy Pilling Stitch Definition was not splitty. It is not fuzzy. And I don't have any concerns that this is going to pill any more than a normal value acrylic. Um, stitch definition I think is very good. Um, did I find any knots, snags, imperfection in the yarn? Not one. Which is surprising given the number of projects I did. Those swatches took a lot of yarn. I'd say the ski we went through about half the half the skein and nothing wrong with it. Frogging was phenomenal. 10 out of 10 kitty paws on the frog. It was perfect. The fabric produced the feel is very nice. It's very soft. I think it's going to be warm. Being an acrylic, this is going to be a workhorse yarn that you can use for many, many things. So that's nice. So therefore, given the size of this skein, this is a great value for your craft dollar. I highly recommend it. The only thing that's going to give you pause if you're in the United States um, is you got to have it shipped. That No one in the U.S. is going to carry this in store. So you're going to have to sh fa la, 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 factor shipping in. Now Mary Maxim does often have sales, shipping discounts, stuff like that. You time your purchase right. That won't be a concern other than waiting. Um... But, man, this is phenomenal yarn. I think this is, this is what I would definitely go back and buy. Um, had I reviewed this prior to picking out the yarn for that Addy Knitted Blanket, I, I might have gone here to get that yarn. I probably would have gone here. No, because I bought the Michaels yarn because I had the reward certificates, so that wouldn't have changed. But, this would have been a great contender. I'd love to make a blanket out of this. I would not hesitate to make myself or the kids any sweater out of this. Um, I always wear an undershirt, as, as Gary from Urban Yarn Theater says, um, undergarments would be required or no undergarments required. I always require undergarments, <laughs> so I, I am not a person to talk about there, but I think it's very soft. I don't... I don't think that you'd have much issue if you were the type of person who doesn't wear an undershirt or a camisole or whatever under your sweaters. Um, yeah, this is this is fantastic yarn. I highly recommend it. This has the crafting kitty, you know, mark of approval. I'm going to give it 10 out of 10 kitty paws. I love this stuff. This was wonderful. Let me know if you've tried it, what your thoughts are on the Mary Maxim maximum value. Did you find it maximally valuey as I did? Or do you have did you have a different experience? I am fully open to the idea that some colorways the yarn feels a little different. Um I see that often, so I might have gotten lucky and picked a really good colorway. <laughs> I really liked this color. That's why I wanted to give it a try. I found it a nice, it's a beautiful coppery color. What's it called? Copper. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a fan. I would 100% buy this again for a multitude of projects and likely will when I'm making another Mary Maxim purchase. When I make that purchase, I don't know. So if I don't make that purchase in the next, if you don't see a Mary Maxim purchase, it's no judgment on the company. It's a judgment on Erin trying to use her stash before buying a lot more. And yeah, that's, that's all it is. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. I would love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear of anything you've made with this or what you would make with this. What? Yeah. Let me know. I love chit chatting. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.